so this is a very wonderful and joyous day. It is raining. And raining is like the perfect day to do any type of cultivating. So you want to go ahead and pull out your hoe. And then you, I like to do, um, anybody could just put a glob of mesh, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do a line of six. I didn't count how many that was. Hopefully you counted one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so you can also pick up clay from the dirt, which can also be used for, um, for crafting. So that'll be good to have later down the line. We're going to get rid of a couple of these trees because they're kind of obstructing our view. Any anytime it rains, those are just very joyous days and you'll be very happy. Cause then you won't have to worry about watering your plants, and which we'll have to worry about watering our plants tomorrow. Go and pick up all this tree. Got the way tree. You don't need to be here. Got the way. Out the way. Alright, so we went ahead and cleared out all those trees. So now, if you take your parsnips that you received on day one, you can go ahead and left click and they'll plant themselves. And you don't have to water them during the rainy days, which is really, really nice and really helpful. And it will save you on a lot of stamina. We have 500 gold. So we're. Oh, it's Wednesday though. I was going to take you over to the. Um, um, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go buy some seeds, but. But. Yeah, it ain't gonna work out. So we don't have any energy either. So we're gonna go ahead and take a nap. And we'll go ahead and we'll start watering some of the seeds tomorrow if it's not raining. All right, we're here on our farm. Okay, so look now, look they're already starting to sprout. And since we laid those lines, they do deteriorate over time. But um, I I did it that day that way because I knew my energy was gonna be rejuvenated. So you know, didn't really waste any energy. Go ahead and left click and water each one of your plants with the watering can. Look at that. Look at that. Also, um, this is the cow watering hole, but you can refill your watering can. So if you just left click, it automatically refills. So we don't have to worry about that. Look at this beautiful farm. This is going to be a beautiful farm. We do need some more rocks, so I'm going to go ahead and go pick up some more rocks. Oh, so I found a, um, a geode. Uh, a geode would be very useful for the blacksmith. We could break it open and we could find all sorts of diamonds or crystals or anything that's going to be very beautiful looking. So we're going to go ahead and keep farming this rock. It is almost 9 o'clock, so we're going to actually head over to the market. And I will show you where the market and which seeds we're going to buy. So let's go ahead and let's fast forward over to that area. Also, along the way of your pathway, you always want to pick up anything you can. It's useful, especially if you want to make friends. It's very useful. Probably should have pushed up. Oh, we had to go back. Sorry, guys. We got to go back. All right, we're running back now. Also, I missed a couple flowers, so I'm going to go ahead and pick these flowers up. There's one up there, but I don't want to waste my time going up there. We're gonna, we need to get over to this and buy some seeds because, you know, we want to go ahead and start planting some more stuff. 500 gold. I don't know what I could buy with 500. Maybe I could sell these flowers or something. Oh, hi. Who are you? Maru. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Have you, Maru? Have you? All right. So this is the calendar. It tells you um, whose birthday it's going to be, any special events, which is an egg festival coming up, which would be pretty cool, and then a flower dance. So we got to find a date. So we got to start trying to befriend somebody. Oh, it's Farmer Noise. So this is Pierre. He sells a backpack right here. If uh, you right click it, it's 2,000 gold. So it's not that much money, but it does help you out a lot. So it'd be very helpful to have. But we don't have any money right now, so we're not going to worry about it. I want to buy. So he's got some parsnips, which are low gold. And they. Oh, I did not mean to buy those. Okay. They take. I think I need a couple more anyway. So we're going to buy a couple more of those. And then uh, plant. They take four days. A bean starter. They take 10 days cauliflower take 12 days and potatoes take six days tulips tulips with flour some flowers would be kind of nice to have but we want to buy some potatoes because we want to make some money i think some potatoes would be good and then uh anything else with jazz seeds plant and spring take seven days to produce a blue puffball flower we got a little bit of money let's go buy that all right so let's go is anybody in here hello if you right click you can go in Ooh, hello I'm not friends with Abigail. Maybe I want to be friends with her. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's head back over to our farm and let's keep farming. All right, so we're back here at our farm. We want to go ahead and replant some of these parsnips that we bought. And then go ahead and water them. So that way you don't forget about them later down the line. And then we got eight potatoes. Now, we don't really want our potatoes near our parsnips. So let's go... Hmm. Or do we want another farming area? Doesn't really matter right off the bat, but... I do like to stay concise. Also, we're gonna get rid of this little sapling here. No need for him to be there. All right, let's go ahead and let's plant our potatoes. You always gotta put your faith in some potatoes. Nothing wrong with a little faith in potatoes. They're pretty quick and they make good money and everybody needs potatoes. Uh, so we got also got these flowers here. And I believe we can just put those right there. Boom. Go ahead and don't forget to water them. So that flower will be good for somebody later down the line. Uh, we still have tons of energy, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the day by um, farming some more rocks and some more sticks. And that way we can finish building our path and our fences, and we'll have a nice, beautiful design to our farm. So my guy's getting pretty, pretty, uh, getting pretty tired. The one thing I did not show you is that when you're harvesting these trees that are all up in the way, you want to left click or left click at the bottom of them, the base of them. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Then you just want to just keep hammering at them, and you want to face in their general direction. If you're clicking over here, it may, it may not work out the way you want it to work. So you just want to just go ahead and take that stump out too. And my inventory is full, willing to pick up all that sap. We'll need all that. Let's go ahead and let's put all the stuff up in here, and then. Uh, We'll uh, continue on the next day. I uh, will see you guys. All right, so continuing on with our day, we do have to finish building um, the pathway. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and get some rocks. I thought it was raining. Oh, that was the fire that was making that noise. So we do have some mail here. Um, I know it's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. So he could build a uh, Robin could build a well for 75 stones and a thousand gold. So that sounds like a really good deal. The problem is we do not have any money, uh, but we need to go ahead and uh, farm what we have here. So we'll go on, go ahead and uh, zip through all this. All right, so that's done. I need to gather a few more stones because I do want to finish off some of our path uh, that goes south and maybe a path that goes up here to the north. But we'll we'll, we'll figure all that. So let's go ahead and we'll do that, and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so we were getting a little low on stamina. We went ahead and farmed up 73 stones. Let's go ahead and go to our crafting. Let's get our cobblestone out. Make this little nice little pathway we got going on here. I think I'm going to... I don't want to build too much right here in this area because I don't know. I know sometimes you have a house extensions, and I don't know if that's going to work out. But we're going to go ahead and uh, just go with this. I kind of want it near the pond, I think. What is that? What is that? It's in the way. Get out of the way. We don't need that there. Nice little path. Oh. Uh, um. Um. Okay. Yeah, it seems like that we're kind of running across this small thing here. Alright, so we ran across a small problem. The path that we wanted to build kind of runs through a stump. So we'll have to upgrade our stump here later or not <laughs> not upgrade our stump. Up upgrade our our tools that way we can get our pathway to go th through this little what all these all these bushes are in the way get out the way bushes get out the way get these bushes out the way get out the way out the way out the way out the way okay we keep laying our pathway down over down down and we're out of rocks okay we'll have to fix that we're gonna put um we'll have to put more here put that there we're gonna fix ooh uh, it's a bit rough here Kind of hard to see with this tree, anyway. Let's go ahead and take out this tree. Kind of mess up the design a little. Can't really see. 
What is going on? Okay, so we got two stumps in the way, but we can go right through that and we can just scythe off the grass that's right here. We can go this way. Look at that. There we go. Now we're now we're back on path. Alright, so that's gonna be that little part. Also, we're gonna go over to the beach area because I know we were needed over there. So let's go um, head over there. I don't know if you know where it's at or not. Or if you explored a little, but we're gonna go this way and then we're gonna head over this way now that we got our path somewhat set up. Oh, there's, oh, there's some uh, some horseradish here. Pick up the horseradish. Hey, birdies! Birdies! Okay, the birdies are flying away, so birdies obviously don't want to be our friend. Oh, this guy's on a skateboard! What's this guy's name? Sam's trying to do a kickflip. All right, I can show you how to do a kickflip, Sam. I'll show you later. I'll show you later, buddy. All right, so we go this way. And then we want to head south and then east. And then we'll head back south. And then this is going to be the beach area. As long as you hit this bridge, you're going to be pretty much at the beach. And this is Willis. See what he has to say for us.